encourage you, everyone stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Let's welcome the presence of God. He's here in this place. Let's just acknowledge Him. Let's just praise Him. Hallelujah. Father, we want to say thank you. And Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence in this place. Thank you, ministering angel. I know that you are here in this place. Hallelujah. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, that you come and invade in this place. Hallelujah. We give you the praise. Come on, everybody. Let's give him a shout. Let's give him a praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we give you praise. Glory. encourage you just open up your heart just feel free amen just uh, just move about feel free give an expression like our pastor said last evening that worshiper worship true worship is to give extravagance amen it's to give extravagance worship it's to give a sacrificial worship and god is looking for those worshiper even this evening how many of you are willing to do that you can come to the front if you if you want to we can come to the front and join the band and let's give praise to our God. Let's worship Him. Let His presence, His glory come in this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Good evening, church. Come on, you can just come to the front. Come, come, come. Give somebody shout glory. A little louder, glory. Shout glory. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. Can you jump with me? One, two, three, jump! Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Sing it out, Jesus. Jesus, the reason I live free. Jesus, the reason I'm killed free. Pursued relentlessly by His love. Never gives up. Sing it one more time. Everybody, come on. Jesus. Jesus. Woo. The reason I live free. Jesus. The reason I'm killed free. Pursued relentlessly by his love. Never gives up. Come on, sing to him. You're the leg. The living word, the air I breathe. Woo. No one else can take his place. The me. Of my life, say his name, Yahweh, Yahweh. say it loud, Yahweh, Yahweh. Who is like the Lord? Come on, shout his name, Yahweh, Yahweh. say it loud, Yahweh, Yahweh. Who is like the Lord? Shout it out, hey, you ready? Come on, hey, everybody, hey, one more time, hey, a little louder. One more time. Hey. Jesus, Woo. the reason I sing, Jesus, the reason I dance, assurance everlasting in your love, forever we start in love. Let's sing them one more time. Jesus, Jesus, the reason I sing, Jesus, the reason I dance, assurance everlasting in his love. He's the living word. Lift those hands and sing it out. The living word, the air I breathe. No one else can take his place. The meaning of my life. Say his name. Yahweh, Yahweh. Say it now. Yahweh, Yahweh. Who is now? Shout it out. Shout his name. Yahweh, Yahweh. Say it now.
can do better than this. One more time, everybody. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus! Woo! Whoa. Jesus is good. Amen. God is good. All the time. God is good. All the time. Hallelujah! Woo! Can you guys feel the presence of God here in this place? Jesus is your answer and he is here. 
He said, ask for me and I will give it to you. Call out to me and I will answer you. Jesus wants to answer you. It's all about Jesus, church. It's all about Jesus.
easy. He's so easy to come. He's so good like that. He's so good like that. Better than you could ever imagine. Yeah, call on the name of Jesus.
no shadow There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming out to me
for doing a one for doing.
man, as well as put that award out, give it away, I want to bless you. So we don't just, uh, just don't preach or eat, we also practice what we preach and give. So we just want to give this uh, to all of you. Uh, is anyone here in this place who will have your birthday today? Anyone who has celebrated your birthday this evening, not today? Can I see your hand and not today? Anyone? So many people don't get what is wrong today. <laughs> oh, is there anyone here that is? Okay. okay. Um, this, this week, week. anyone who celebrate your birthday this week? Can, can I see your hand? All right, All right there's, there's one at the back. back. Please, Please come. come. Yeah. God bless you. It's a good time to say how you can be led by the Spirit of God. And, and if you apply the principle of this good, it will change your life forever. God bless you. Everyone else, you are celebrating your birthday. Okay, one well, and then. All right, I have two, so I notice that the guy that I throw, so I'm giving it to you, right? Okay. The goal, the business, and the balance of the world, the goal of prosperity. From this day forward, you are going to prosper in your life. Amen. God bless you. Okay, I have to do this, man. Okay, okay, one in the back. back. I'll, I'll give this to you. Yeah, yeah please come. come. One in the back. Okay, okay. anyone else celebrating your birthday? One in the back today? Okay. okay. I'll, I'll pass, pass it to the ushers. ushers. If anyone wants to ushers, 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 please come. God bless, bless you. One in the back today. Yeah, 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 Thank you. Okay, okay. And, and I have one, one more. So, so um, if, you're you're celebrating, celebrating, if you got born again on this, this day, day, anyone like that remember, remember the day you accepted Jesus, Jesus Christ as your first Lord and Savior, and that day fall on this day? day. Anyone, anyone like that? Come on, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah. Okay. okay. He's, He's the whole one. one. <laughs> so God bless you. Okay. okay. Um, all right, right. I, have I have a few, few announcements. All right, um, t-shirts is still available. Uh, t-shirts are all sizes still available, especially uh, for the young ones. ones the, the, the small size, size uh, a lot of t-shirts are still available, so you can get another one. Just yesterday, it was a great announcement that I gave you to school in me, and I found out I gave you to school in me too. Right? And I can assure you it will look good to anyone. Amen? So, so if you have not gotten yet one, we can have another one, right? right? And also, very important announcement, I want you all to uh, uh, keep, keep this in uh, mind. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we have a traditional night, night right? Woo! Amen. Amen. So, I just want you to get, get excited tomorrow. I want to encourage you to come and dress up uh, in your traditional attire. It may not be the whole thing, but it can be a whistle or a ring, I mean, uh, an earring or a muffler or whatever it is available. Please dress up, represent the new tribe, and be a part of this special night tomorrow. How many of you will do that? It's going to be colorful, it's going to be beautiful. Amen? All right, so keep that in mind. And uh, also a workshop. Everyone say workshop. Workshop is happening, happening on Saturday, Saturday right? right? From uh, Saturday, Saturday and uh, the workshop we have the prophetic, prophetic ministry, we have the prophetic art, we have the uh, prophetic dance, we have the children ministry, and also we have uh, worship ministry for the worship team, also for the present, right? And I want to encourage you, it's all free, but uh, you, you can, can sign it up at the lobby, right? I want to encourage you, please have this opportunity to have the team that has come all the way from California just to bless us. So I'm telling you, it will bless your life, it will enrich your life, it will enrich your ministry. So if you are in any way, I want to be a part of this. Please sign up for today. I also encourage you, you can invite your friends, you can invite people that you know who will be blessed by this, then they can come and have this opportunity. I'm telling you again, we're not charging anything, we're making it all free, right? So that anyone who is interested, they can come and be a part of this Saturday, 10 or 9.30 or right? So be on time. 
Okay, and then uh, the healing books and the prophetic books as well as the prayer book is happening every day from 4 to 4.15. So you can come ahead of time, you can come and see if you need healing in body, or if you need just word of encouragement, or you need a prophetic word, or someone just come and pray for you, you can come and receive prayer every day at the multi-purposeful uh, at the lobby, right? Okay, okay, and bus service is available for those who are coming from Josoma. How many from Josoma? Thank you for that. We have two bus available for you. After that, and also for the high school, we have a bus being available. But you have to pay more of your right. This is a minimum fear. I'm sure everybody can pay. If they give you all your money into the offering, then you have to get, to get someone who has money, money right? So, <laughs> Okay, okay, and, and Sunday, Sunday service uh, is at 4 and not 5 p.m. This, this coming uh, Sunday service will be at 4 p.m. Keep that in mind, don't, don't come at 5, come at 4, four on Sunday, Sunday, right? And also, also we have the Bible school, school that is happening from uh, 6th of May to 6th of June, June right? So uh, I would encourage you to know anyone. Uh, we are free to uh, finish exams and to get blessed. blessed. And I'm telling you, they will really be blessed. Your life will be transformed by this school. So you can also give um, a new heart and also pray that you know, the right people will come. Right. right. Uh, we have a very, very interesting uh, outreach that is happening tomorrow. It's called Street Outreach. It's just going to be uh, going to be blessed in the city of Koyama. Right, so it will start from 9.30, so if you are interested to go out with the team and be a blessing, to pray for, for people who will need to pray for healing, you can come and join. I will be meeting at the Pura Hotel, I will be meeting from 9.30, so if you come and join at the Pura Hotel, just, uh, just beside the uh, Red Cross building. Right, so if you can come and join that. All right. And that's all for the um, announcement, right? right um, yeah. Yeah. This, this evening, evening uh, we're so privileged and honored to have Pastor Rebecca Cooper with us all the way from, um, from America. She's a pastor of, uh, at the Bethel Church and also at the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry. Uh, she's also a worship leader with the Bethel Worship team. And um, one, one of the things, the first thing that I noticed about her is that, that she's a very passionate, passionate lover of people. people. And uh, the, that, that is the first thing I saw about her. As they were coming out from, from, from Dimapur and on the way, um, they, have, they have, uh, have uh, it's raining, so they have a lot of difficulties. And they were to be supposed to be at the orphanage at 4, 4 p.m. But uh, uh, it, it goes on this. Maybe they reached the orphanage. 7.30 the first team, but the pastor and the team, they were still late, so, um, so I was still late. Maybe I'll let the first team minister, but then they are coming, uh, come back, they're all tired, and then they have to push the bus, so they were dirty. So, so I just thought that maybe we will just the first team minister, and when we get team ready, we will just move on without stopping there. there. And so um, I just told the team, uh, get ready for that. But as soon as the bus reached, I... I actually, actually asked um, Pastor Rebecca and said, do you, you just, just want to move on because the first team has already ministered to the kids, so I'm sure you all must be tired, and, and so you just, you just want to move on and move on to your hotel. hotel. And, and she, she says, no, no, we want them to go by and love all children. children. And love, that's what they did with them for more than two hours, loving on the orphanage and the children. And I was so blessed by the whole team, so that's what I said. So I would like to encourage you to open up your heart and receive. I'm uh, sure to bring a lot of love and praise and anointing of one life to be a blessing to the people here in Corona. So let's just give you a warm welcome. welcome.
I think the Ashes have done a good job in with the course of all. It's not going to be in your own strength and you're going to know it's the Lord. 
And as you go in, you're going to feel the presence of God. You're going to feel that it's Him that's taking you there. And he says, you don't have to change a bit. Just stay exactly the way you are. Exactly the way you are. And I thank you for the lack of performance on their lives and the lack of religion. I thank you for the freedom on their lives, Father. We're going to do something. I've done this before. And I feel the Holy Spirit do this past us. I know that this might make you feel a little uncomfortable. But we're going to take up an offering right now for the pastors. I hope. This is okay, I want to honor you. But this will be a sign of things to come. And my microphone's okay, you don't guys don't need to play with it too much. It will get distracting, just leave it as it is. Just as it's good. So we're going to take up an offering and I want you to, I, I want you to give. You understand? Giving and honor releases favor in the house. We should want our pastors to be blessed because we can't go anywhere that they haven't gone if they're leading us. We want them to be blessed. We want them to be blessed because I want to know, Pastor Bill, Pastor Chris, when they demonstrate it for me, it unlocks something for me to walk into and it's going to unlock something for you. It doesn't even matter if you're from this house or not. Honor releases favor. Honor will bring a blessing. And we don't give according to need. That's never how we give to kings. We honor them. That's how we give. And we sow. We need their soil. Do you understand? That's why we give. That's how we give. When we plant a seed, we plant because of the soil. So what I want you to do is I want you to stand to your feet. It's going to be a little bit messy. It's okay. And I want you to respond right now. Just come out of your seats. I want you to give anything you can. It doesn't even matter the amount. Just give. Anywhere in front of them. Right there in front of them. We don't need a bucket. Let it be on the floor. It's all right. It won't fit in a bucket. Come. Come and honor them. Come and honor them. It will release something in this house. Things that you are longing for, I promise you, the things that you are crying out for, the church, the body of Christ needs to see honor. We need to see honor. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. He is more than enough. You can never outgive your papa. You can never outgive your papa. They are faithful. I have traveled many places and I am overwhelmed by their humility. I am overwhelmed by the humility in this man and woman. And it would be an injustice not to spend time to honor them. They were willing to not preach at all. They didn't want to preach at all. I said, Pastor, please, please let me sit underneath your ministry. And they're not hungry for the glory. They're hungry for his glory. Amen. I bless you as you give. 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 We serve an extravagant power. We serve an extravagant God. We are not orphans. We are sons and daughters of the living God. There is nothing that he lacks. There is nothing that he lacks. And as you give, you can never outgive the King of Kings. Amen? Amen? Amen, church? God is also releasing a voice in this church. He's breaking off false humility. And there has been, I see, a cloak over this church, a cloak over this nation, even over specifically this region. And I see that he's been trying to hold the voices back. He's breaking that off the church. There is an authority that's being released from this church. There is a boldness that is being released from this church. And what you have thought is humility, the Lord is ripping off the false humility. And He is saying, it is time to step in to your boldness as sons and daughters of the Most High God. Amen? Amen, church. Amen. Amen. It is okay to let your voice be heard. 
He's breaking off generational curses. Right now, some of you are going to start to feel the tangible presence of the Lord. If you feel that, we're going to keep on ministering. If you start to feel the presence of the Lord, it might come like fire in your hands or, or fire in your belly. If you feel that, we want the Holy Spirit to come and do whatever He wants to do tonight. It's all about Him. So if you start to feel the presence of the Lord, you're not going to be a distraction. I want you to stand to your feet and I'm going to bless you. Just as you stand, just let the Holy Spirit minister to you. I bless you. I bless you as the Holy Spirit ministers. I bless you. 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 You don't need someone to lay your hands on you. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Shandereba, Sandereba. Shandereba, Sandereba, Sandereba. This won't be the last time we do this in this house. This already feels like family to me. And I want to encourage you. Give outrageously to your leaders. It will break the spirit of poverty. It will break because what the enemy wants you to think is if I give, I will lack. You do the opposite. The kingdom is flipped upside down. It says, well, I give what I don't have. So even right now, if you thought you sat in your seat, I don't have enough. Now, jump up out of your seat and give. That releases something. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. You cannot outgive your generous papa. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just let that come off your lips. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let it come off your lips. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I saw a picture. I saw a picture of the father and he had his arms around Kohima. And he says, do you know that I love you? And he's saying this to you tonight. He's saying, do you know that I love you? 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 Do you know that you're beautiful? Do you know that you're beautiful? He's got his arms around this body. He's got his arms around this church. I had a father do that to me once when I didn't know who I was and I didn't know how to receive the love of a generous father. I didn't know. I didn't know how to receive. I knew how to give, but I didn't know how to receive. And I had a father come to me and he put his arms around me and he said, Rebecca, do you know that I love you? Do you know that I love you? Do you know that I love you? Do you know that you're beautiful? And I said, can you tell it's hard for me to receive? And he said, yeah. But right now you get to be a daughter. And I'm telling the church, right now you get to be a daughter and you get to be a son. Do you know that he loves you? 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 Because everything you need is right in that place. And you are great at loving. When I walked in this church arm, I felt overwhelmed with your love. I felt like I was right at home. But church, He's breaking off an orphan mindset. And He's going to do it with His outrageous love. And he's doing it right now. I see the Lord baptizing people with love right now. Just let him baptize you with his love right now. If you feel him in his presence, you can stand up. Just acknowledge the Holy Spirit if you start to feel his presence. It's not about me. It's about him. I can't do anything. It's all about him. Do you know that he loves you? 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 Do you know that you're beautiful? Do you know that you're important? He's breaking off stigmas. He's breaking off false humility right now. Right now, right now, he's breaking it off. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Right now, over in this corner, right now, right at the back there, I feel a strong presence of the angelic right over there on my left-hand side. If that's you, just put your hands up right over there on that side. 
Open your eyes so you can see. Over these people here, I see the presence of the Lord. Just put your hands up. Yeah, that's it. Just receive. There's a strong angelic presence right over there. That's it. That's it. Thank you for your baptism. Thank you for your baptism right now. Thank you, Jesus. We acknowledge you in this place. Thank you, Jesus. And what he's doing is he's through his presence and through his grace, he's breaking things off your life that you've been striving to do for a long time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's not a tidy God. He's not a tidy God. He doesn't mind a bit of mess. That's it. He doesn't mind a bit of mess. You don't need to have it all together, church. He's not looking for perfection. He's looking for willing hearts. He's looking for lovers. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Sam. Go ahead, Susan. Sing it out with Sam. I can feel the Holy Spirit on this. Baptize me, God, in your fire. Baptize me, God, in your love. Baptize me, God, in your love. Baptize me, God. Baptize me, God, in your love. Baptize me, God. Thank you, Jesus. There is no Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is no striving in your love. Freely. the Holy Spirit <clears throat> what to share on tonight the same message that came to me I've been feeling it all year at the beginning of the year I was praying and asking God for the word and I felt he wanted me to share this with you tonight it's okay if people are experiencing God just let him move it's okay the word I received he talked to me and he said Rebecca I'm pouring out new wine I didn't know that Hillsong had the conference and they had, they called it New Wine. And then they released a song called New Wine. And then I found out by Benny Johnson that the Hebrew year this year, 5779, is called New Life and New Wine. <laughs> and I knew he was getting my attention. I knew he was saying, Rebecca, New Wine. As I keep on trying to move to different things, I keep hearing him come back to this. He says, I'm doing a lot of things, but I don't want you to forget the promise I gave you for new wine this year. Isaiah 43, 19 says, see, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. I'm gonna read that again. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What I feel really strongly is it's very important to be aware of what the Lord is doing. And it's, it, it, wise farmers will always know the season that's coming. They know harvest, they know planting, they know what's coming. And I feel like it's very important as a church that we understand that God is doing a new thing. And the biggest mistake we can make is to think that it's gonna look like what it did in the past. 
but he's doing a brand new thing. And I believe that we have come here for such a time as this. Asano, she's a part of this church. She's also an intern with me. She had a dream over a year ago and she said, she came to me and said, Rebecca, I saw you, you were with us and a team and you were in India and you were preaching. At that point, we didn't know that Asano would be interning with me. We also didn't know that I would be asked to lead a team to India. We also didn't know that I would go to Nagaland, which is their hometown. And I wanna tell you, church, that there, I humbly say this, but God has brought us here for such a time as this. And I, I don't believe it's about us, but I believe the Lord is ushering something in. He is opening up the gateways. And the scripture I heard of you was Isaiah 22, 22, and it says, whatever door the Lord opens, no man can shut. And whatever door he closes, no man can open. And what he's saying is there's things he's doing, even as the government's shifting, as these things are going on, he's preparing the church. And there are a few things, I just wanna read these, I'm not gonna to spend too long on this, I won't get through my notes, but these were three things I felt to share. And Sam, I'm actually gonna ask you just to hold off from playing for a second. These are three things I felt, you guys listen with your spirit, it says one, God is upgrading our thinking and renewing our minds. Two, God is leading us back to our first love, to come like children. And three, God is calling for holiness. And I believe with this move of holiness is gonna break the fear off and release a new level of authority. So what I'm gonna do, I just feel really strongly not to go through my notes. I'm gonna ask to people to respond to these things. If you believe that God is wanting to give you an upgrade right now and you're thinking, I want you to stand in feet. And I want to say, some of you have been battling with fear. Some of you have been battling with insecurities, these, these uh, demonic attacks. Some of you, God is just wanting to open up and give you fresh revelation. Thank you, Jesus. I want to put your hands up. So thank you, Jesus. Two of my team members came to me tonight and they said, I see keys dropping. And this is all I felt. I had three keys. It just says keys here. This is all I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to read out three keys and we let the Holy Spirit move. So Holy Spirit, I thank you right now for the spirit of wisdom and revelation right now resting on these people. Right now, fresh impartation. I want you to receive with your spirit. It doesn't need to look like how it looked. I want to tell you. We don't need to manipulate the Holy Spirit. We don't need to make something happen. He's more than capable of coming. So thank you, Jesus. I thank you for a fresh impartation of wisdom and revelation, of upgrade in our thinking. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you are going to start to feel fire in you. Just let the Holy Spirit break those things off. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just let him touch you however he wants to touch you. It might come in peace. It might come in joy. It might come in fire. <laughs> just stay standing and let God just yeah, minister to you right now. The second I felt was God is leading us back to our first love. And I just hear the Lord wanting to baptize us with his love right now. If you feel in your spirit, that's for me right now. I want you to stand up, stand to your feet. Right now, he's gonna give a fresh baptism of his love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Right over there in this middle section, right over here, I'm pointing over here. I just see such a strong presence of the angelic over there. Thank you, we bless what you're doing over there, God. We bless what you're doing. 
There's a lady there with a green sweater on, and I just see the Lord touching you powerfully. Yes, that's you, and I just see the Lord baptizing you in a powerful way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing right now. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing right now. That sweet girl up in the balcony right there, you're clapping your hands together. That's you, I just see the Lord touching you right now. I just see the Lord touching you right now. Just receive, 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 receive. Thank you, Jesus. Number three, God is calling for holiness. I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. If you, if you feel in your spirit that this, was, this is for you and there is something you need to lay down before the Lord, I want you to come to the altar. Just come and kneel at the altar. In order for God to work through us with authority and to, to work in this new way that he's wanting to do, there has to be a call for holiness. doing things a bit differently, and that's okay. And that's okay, it's okay to do it differently. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. I wanna tell you that the Lord loves to mess up the religious mindset. And if you're feeling offended right now in your mind, that's good, that's good. He wants to offend the mind, he wants to offend the mind. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We're not going to have music just right now. We're just going to let the Holy Spirit do what He wants to do in this room. We're not even going to lay our hands on people. We're going to have the Holy Spirit. We're going to have the Father do that right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Son, oh, I just see a fresh touch on you right now. I see the Lord touching you in a new way. John, I want to crash into you. I want to crash into you. I don't know if you have ever heard about when someone gets hit by a car and sometimes their shoes go flying away in a different direction. I believe that that's what the Lord has. That the Holy Spirit is crashing into people right now. The Holy Spirit is crashing into people right now. The things that are not of God, the things that are, do not align are literally getting thrown off. There is no other choice but to be thrown off in another direction. So Jesus, would you right now crash into us tonight? Crash into us tonight. Crash into us tonight, Jesus. Yes, Lord. That anything that doesn't align with what you're doing and where you're going and where you're taking this body, that anything that doesn't align with what your kingdom says and what your kingdom does and how your kingdom is set up, Jesus, that you would just let it fly off the other direction. Yeah. yeah, yeah, if you're sitting here and you feel like, you feel like God overlooks you and you feel like I haven't encountered the presence of the Lord, but I'm so hungry, I want you to stand to your feet. I want you to be bold. If you're sitting there and you feel like I come to these meetings and I don't feel the presence of the Lord, I want you to stand to your feet. And I want, you to, I want you to do something different that you've never done before, whether that's lift up your hands and you're going to watch him. You're going to watch him crash on you. Brother Sam, you can come back up now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That you never overlook one person. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Is he 
young man in the red. Yeah, I said he was there. Watch it, put your hands up. I've noticed with God is he moves through the most unlikely. I am one of them. <laughs> and the biggest mistake we could make with the little ones is underestimating. Let me tell you something. There is no junior Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is alive and well in these little ones. And the purity of worship I saw in them reminded me of a move of God that happened in China. And there's a book that was written about it. It was called Behind the Veil. And so these little ones are up here. I want you just to put your hands out. Thank you, Jesus. And I want us as a church to stretch our hands out to them. And we honor you as forerunners in this move of God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank you that God... Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Papa, let us learn from these little ones, Papa. Let us learn from these little ones, Papa. Break our hearts like their hearts are breaking for you. Let us learn from these little ones, Papa. Hey. church let your heart break right now let it feel I feel like the Lord is putting them in front of us to remind us that it's not complicated it's not complicated church we get so wrapped up in religion church it's it's simple that's why he says come like a little child 
This right here, this sweet one, this is how he's asking us to come. She's not doubting his goodness. She's not doubting how beautiful he is. She's not doubting him that he won't come and crush in on her world. And I want to tell you, I'm sorry, church, for when you learn, for those people who learned that you should doubt his goodness on your life. When you're a little one and you were in a broken family, I want to tell you, I'm sorry that you got a broken perspective of who the Father is and He wants to restore that right now in this house. And He knows, He knows, some of you are sitting here, you let His love minister to you. Up in the balconies, I feel there's people. And you felt let down by your parents. You've come from broken families. And he wants you to know he understands, he feels compassionate, but he wants you to know that's not the kind of daddy he is. He's a good daddy, and you never have to doubt him. You get to come to him like this little one. church as they have forerun for us we're just gonna let his love saturate us and I want you to come to him like a little child and a little child comes to him and says I don't know it all and that's gonna be the number one posture for what God wants to do in this new move when we say I don't know how you're gonna move I don't know it all but I just want you So why don't you just let his love saturate you tonight? If you want to come out in the aisles, you can. If you just want to sit in your seat, just come to him like a little girl. Come to him like a little son. There's nothing like your presence. There's nothing like you, Lord. Oh, how we love your name. There's nothing like your presence, there's nothing like your love, Jesus, there's nothing like your presence, there's nothing like your love. Yeah, church, like we're not even going to coach you right now. You just get to respond like a son and daughter. I don't need to coach you into this. You just respond like a son and daughter. There's no control here. It's just responding to His love. Jesus, know that you 
white as wool and I know that your voice it sounds like water Jesus you're beautiful Jesus you're beautiful Jesus you're beautiful Jesus you're around the church I want you to make your way up to the balcony and you're just gonna lay your hands on people just feel to, free to receive however you want to receive there's never pressure in the presence of Jesus you get to come as a son and daughter it doesn't need to look like someone else just let him touch you how he wants to touch you it doesn't mean it's more if it's louder For freedom right now. For freedom right now. For freedom. For freedom right now. take the children around we would love the little ones to pray over people too so if there's a little one that's able to walk around and my team can make sure you take them if they're willing and just lay your hands on some people in the church Oh, 
love on you right now. We're not in a hurry. Just let him love on you right now. Tonight it's all about receiving. It's all about receiving like a son and a daughter. Some of you have been burnt out. Some of you have been burnt out and it's because you forgot what it was to be a son and a daughter. Yes, he loves me. Yes, he loves me. Yes, he loves me. This I know. Yes, he loves me. Yes, he loves me. Yes, he loves me. This I know. church is headed I see that there's going to be less coaching and just a surrender just a surrender that we're going to embrace even the awkward moments we're going to push past that moment when we think we should finish but we're going to keep pushing past because we're hungry we're going to keep pushing past. You're not going to need someone to lead you from the front. It's going to come from the little ones up. It's going to come from the little ones up. It's going to come from the little ones up. That young man there sitting in the third, fourth row, you've got a cap on the cap, one right beside you, the hat. Can you stand up? It's you. I saw the Lord, put your hands out. I just saw the Lord resting on you in a powerful way. I see the Lord restoring your confidence. He's restoring your boldness and he's calling you son. He's calling you son. He's calling you son. And God, I thank you for the mantle that's on his life. God, I thank you for the restoration. And I see the Lord commissioning you tonight. I see the Father commissioning you tonight. And no one needs to lay their hands on you. The Father himself is doing this over you, son. He's commissioning you tonight afresh. And I see he's making a, a way in the wilderness, a way in the desert for you. And he's, he's, you're blazing a trail. And I see you as a forerunner for the nation of India. And the Lord says, you've been thinking too small. And it's much bigger than you think, son. It's much bigger. And God says, if you're willing... I will work through you in a way that you could never have done in your own strength. And he says, I will always go before you and your, and your Holy Spirit will be the umpire. And he says, don't step out without my presence. Don't step out without my presence. And I see a refreshing on you in this season, a refreshing on you, Holy Spirit, right now. Thank you for your refreshing on him right now. I just see the Ruha breath of God right now, just breathing on you. The breath of God refreshing you right now. And he's calling you son. And he says, son, before anything else, before any ministry, you will always be son first. You will always be son first. And I see you called as a father. Even in this nation of India, I see you called as a father. And the Lord says, you cannot be a father unless you know how to be a son first. And so God, I thank you for this season in his life. 
And I see fathers coming around you. I see strength coming around you. And he says, your strength will come as you position yourself underneath fathers, loving fathers. And he's saying, you don't have to do it on your own, son. You were never called to do it on your own. Thank you, Jesus. And I see you taking teams. I see teams coming around you. And where you were tired before, the Lord says you're not gonna be tired anymore. And the presence is gonna go before you. And I see you just being baptized in the presence of God. And I see the radical love of God coming on you. I see the radical love of God falling on you. I see His presence just crashing in on you. And I see His joy. I see His love. I see His fire. And the Lord says He's not called you to do anything where you haven't gone there first. And so get ready to go to the intimate places, the deep places, son, because you're about to take nations to these places. If you're around him, you can put your hands on him right now. The church people around him, just put your hands on him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just break right now any shame, any shame right now. We break it off right now. Shame be broken right now off this man. Shame, any shame, any hindrance right now broken off. And the Lord says, I'm going to raise you up like a star in the sky. I'm going to raise you up, son, like a star in the sky. And it is not about you being perfect. It's all about you being his son. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we're going to do now is we're just going to, I'm going to let Sam just worship and you can just stay where you are, but I'm going to have my team, if you can, come to the front. and I trust my team wholeheartedly. Those who are up in the balcony, you can stay up there. And what I want my team to do is I want you to put your hand up. Just those who are at the front. And those who are on the balcony, if you guys can put your hand up. And that's the same with all the prayer servants. And if you'd like prayer, I want you to come and let's just give the children some room and you guys might want to just spread out. I'm gonna open it up for prayer. And if God's touching you and you just wanna stay there, that's great. And we want to release you as well. If you, you, you're free to go home, you're free. We'd love to see you tomorrow as well. We bless you if you leave. But we're going to stay. We're going to tarry for a little while longer. And if you want to stay with us, we would love that too. Thanks, Sam. If you see someone with their hand up and you want to come and get prayer, please come forward. Please come forward. So if you need prayer or you want prayer, come. Come to any one of these that are here in the front with the hands raised. Okay? Feel free to come and just let the Lord minister to you. Tomorrow we meet again here at 5. I guarantee you, just spending time in the presence of God is going to transform your life like nothing ever can. So bring your friends tomorrow too, alright? The rest of you, we bless you. You are dismissed. You can go home. If you need prayer, come to the front. God bless you all. We will see you tomorrow. God bless your families too.
I've given everything my heart could ever need and all you ask is I
never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love, your love. Tera pyaar na rukhe, wo kabhi na dale, kabhi na hoga kam. Tera pyaar na rukhe, wo kabhi na dale. कभी ना होगा कम तेरा प्यार ना रुके वो कभी ना डले कभी ना होगा कम तेरा प्यार तेरा प्यार पल भर के लिए भी वो ना रुके तेरा प्यार है जो छा गया मुझ पे डरना नहीं है हमें कभी तेरा प्यार सदा रहे तेरा प्यार सदा रहे तेरा प्यार ना रुके वो कभी ना डले कभी ना होगा खम Sing it up. 
Jesus, Jesus, 